Hey everybody, how y'all doing? Are you hey okay? In your neck are you? Let me dry them up. Too cold. Now go too deep, you know. Yeah, yeah, fair watch it, you know. Our troops, see that? Apple cider vinegar and our troops. Come up at right, make them get saturated in the gravy and all of that. On today's episode of the Jamaican Cooking Journey, I'll be sharing with you how to make some fried fish fillet. No, I haven't used fish fillet in decades. Uh, I found these in the grocery. I think it's the name of it. It's imported. I mean, I really go for the imported stuff. But I guess that this is just what I found. Look like from the price of it, look like it's a kind of like a cheap fish too. I might cut this piece. So I try to get it as dry as I could, you know. So I think I'm going to get this piece. into so i've washed i use lime juice to soak them in and then i have kind of a fish fillet you can i rub and a scrub so i just soaked it in some green lime juice that's what i had so this is what it looks like so i try to get it as dry as possible because i realized that it's a little softy softy fish it's bassa bassa or basa yeah well look at you can see cheap too as me know fish fillet or something were very expensive so i tried my best i'm gonna show you now so i washed it i drained it i used some um what's that thing the other thing where we use grease i drained it on some parchment and now i'm cutting it off on some paper towels so i have it yeah so i'm gonna try to get it now what i have done right here though I have gone ahead and I have two sets of flour mixture. I'm going to use one as a wet batter and this is going to be dry butter. You can use your seasoning of choices. Everything that I have in here, I have in here. So this is dry and I put it on a flat, in a flat. So I'm going to flay it out. So what I have here now is all mixture for the dry. What I did not remember though is some baking powder. Let me get it. So with my baking powder in, and I must tell you that I use the lightest flour. I didn't want too much of a heavy flour like bread flour or um, oil purpose. I used my pastry flour because I didn't want to get it too thick and, you know, doughy and all them something there. So I'm mixing in my baking powder. Mind you, you know you want to get it fluffy, but you don't want to use too much baking powder. If you use too much baking powder, you will get that sort of tardiness when biting in, you know too much and it, you see the staining on your teeth so this is what i have so i'm going to use some beer you can use your beer of choice i'm in jamaica so may i use a red stripe beer it has the frothiness to it too so it will make the batter a little lighter too i'm not gonna throw all you see that froth yes yeah, so it will help with the baking powder to give you that light batter so this is what and i had my stuff in there so what i'm gonna do now i have three pegs of garlic that i've smashed and i'm gonna be pre-eating my um my thing here well mediumly i'm not deep fat frying i'm just shallow fat frying i don't want it to be submerging too much liquid because it's not the firmest of filet so i'm gonna be starting to as i said Use your seasonings of choice in your flour. Okay? So I never really say stay to show you that I use. It's up to you. So you want to throw this a little at a time because you want to have this not too thick. You see that four minutes from the beer? Yeah, that's why I use the beer. So if you want, you can use a beer. So you want to mix each time. And you know, it's like when we are beer to say a little at a time till you get it to the consistency where you want it. Yeah. So each time you throw, you see this froth coming up with this light um, 
cake flour, yeah, which is cake flour or pastry flour. Mm? Yeah. You see that? So you want to mix it out. And I yes, I have some paprika to give it the color. So I'm mixing it out. I don't want any lumps. I want to get it as smooth as possible. So right now this, this thing is really light and that is what you really want. Mm? So you want to spend some time. Let me lower my flame. I'm going to use the garlic to flavor the oil. So you can do your thing. Mm? Do it. I'm just using the garlic. And I did add a little garlic powder too in the wet batter. I want to get it as smooth as possible. No lumps. I want it lump free. But this is still too thick. And I'm going to throw... Yes, I remember I told you don't throw everything all at once. It gives you the chance when throwing a little at a time. It gives you the chance to know the consistency that you really want. You know? You don't want to come and throw everything one time so look at this you see this look at this you see it like a ribbony thing look at that when you let me show you you see that it's me yeah so you want it like that no thicker no thinner what you want to do you want to mix it up a little bit more to get it a little lighter smooth whilst your oil is being preheated and you're mixing it out to get it the smoothest as you can hmm? You can also taste if you have enough salt. Yes, I think mine is okay. Mm -hmm. You can also taste your dry butter too. Just take a little bit of a little pinch. Rubbing it out and you can use a whisker. Whichever other thing you want to use. But I'm using my spoon. You know I like my spoon. This is my Jamaican spoon. So really smooth and light look at this you don't want it too thick look at it looking through the spoon you see that or thin you can look through it now what i want to do right here is to season these fish pieces but i am gonna season with any salt i have salt in there i have salt in that so what i'm gonna do now i'm gonna use a little cajun seasoning just to season it from one side to the other. Seems I had a little steam in my pot there. So I'm gently putting my Cajun seasoning on. And also I'm going to be putting a little turmeric, not a lot. I'm going to be doing this from side to side, okay? Just a lot, just a small amount. Mm? And this is not even the right color turmeric that I have. So, whilst my oil is being preheated, I'm going to go now and gently rub in these little, um, this little Cajun seasoning right on this thing that I have. And I'm going to turn to the other side and do the rest. You know, you don't want it heavily seasoned right here. You know, can you know a fish fillet? You know, there's something here. They don't need no whole heap of corsage in and all of them sitting there. You just like uh, it I go take the butter and all them sat or something. Is what I say? So I'm gonna be doing this because actually I've gotten the picture of what I'm gonna be doing right here. So when you see me next, I might just be ready to put in my butter. One side is finished, gonna be turning to the other side, and all of the next patient them, them are gonna get the same treatment, and I'll be taking care that none of my napkins will be napkin will be on it because some of them know I got to help the napkin. Yeah, you know, we have that for deal with. So I'm taking care. Okay. Give this one last mix. So, I'm going to be doing the wet first. You can go to dry the wet. I'm going to be doing it double dip for each batter. So, I'm going to be double dip. I'm going to be doing the wet two times and the dry two times. So my oil is over there. I've removed my garlic. So if you want to do it with your gloves on, you can do it. And I'm dipping it from one side to the other side. And you see, 
I'm gonna let it drip a bit. That's good. I'm gonna be laying it now in this dry mixture. Patting it on a bit and let it stay there. This is how you're gonna gain the fluff, that extra fluffiness, you know, on it. So I'm gonna let it stay there a bit whilst I go do the other piece. So next patient, same treatment into the wet. Drain it a bit. But I am really looking. I said that I would do two times. But I am looking, but it seems that I can just go one. What do you think about that, Dad? Because yeah. the yeah. fillets are thick, most of them. Mm -hmm. Let us go one family. I was looking at some of them are thin, some are thick. So I think this is pretty good. One time mm -hmm. will be pretty good. But my oil is there. Hope it's not too heated. So shake this a bit, shake it a bit, shake it a bit. And you see there's layers. So I'm gonna come now and I'm gonna go right in here. I think it's relatively heated and I think I can put two pieces. And we'll fry just like that. Not the excess, knock it. We're gonna put two pieces in there. We're gonna let it fry, show them the flame down. Show them the flame that we're frying it on. Yeah, we're not gonna fry it yet. Because I was thinking family, but this, some part of the filet is thick and some part is thin. So I'm gonna be doing this whilst those are doing and I'm gonna be frying. You know, this is a little messy exercise. So I'm going to be frying just like this while it stays right there and it takes, you know, it cooks slow in that, that, that grease. It's not, I would say, um, this is not fully, um, deep fried. No, it's not. And it is definitely not shallow fat. So we are in the middle there, in between shallow fat and deep fat. I'm going to do the same with these. So when you see me back again. It will be time for me to turn those and I'll show you what they look like. This is just like a little Good Friday thing. You know, most um, people go to church Good Friday. If you're not going to church, people don't want to stay in the kitchen on Good Friday. It's not the norm in Jamaica that I know of, from country to town, to stay in the kitchen Good Friday. No, some people don't even go there. Some people don't even go light the stove until after three. It's just a tradition. So it would be bun and cheese and any little thing. And then I'm just showing you this that you can put with it to make life a little easier. So I'll catch you when those are ready to be turned. It's time for us to turn and I am gently turning it. I'm going to show you. You see that? So we are going to turn to the other side. You see that pretty color? So we, 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 we mixed our... our um, wet butter with some paprika and we use some what's that thing there some turmeric to rub on the fish so i'm gonna fry these until they're all nice crispy and i'll come back and i will present to you nice little easy thing for your um good friday eats if you're a single person if you're a couple if you want even to try to entertain okay the crispiness is there I'll catch you in the next clip. From my kitchen to yours, from my Jamaican kitchen to your family table, to your palate, and most of all to your stomach, it is your beer battered fried fish fillet. Then a little homemade arm fries, you know, just to pep it up a bit, just to show you that you, what you could use. You could use your little thingy thingy, a little accompaniment of choice, if there is such a word. And remember to be you, do you. Enjoy your good Friday. This is from my kitchen to yours. So, um, we just decorated with a little ranch and some ketchup. You know, you could use some hot sauce. I just want to show you the finished. 
as you know some people like I said they would like to see on the inside this is it this is how cute this is how pretty it is wow it's beautiful mm -hmm. with the ranch and the ketchup you could just add some hot sauce oh it's beautiful outside is crunchy you could actually hear the crunch and inside is soft and nice so remember to be you do you most of all love you this is just something a little bit and dainty and have to come out of your all stress out of your night or anything so remember to make sure that you're subscribed hit the notification bell check in the description for all my info and all my links that you'd like to get on to me happy easter from the jamaican cooking journey <laughs>